If you've been online at all, you've seen them. The big, bright headlines that tell you how to do anything from spending your morning to impressing your crush, all supposedly according to science. So for my summer RCU, I worked with Dr. Weber and Dr. Lanius to explore the rhetorical effects of the phrase according to science. So the context of this work is that the way that scientists communicate with other scientists and the way that they talk and the things that they talk about is very different from how the general public talks about science and what communication studies are sort of trying to do is bridge the gap between scientists and the general public in the best way that we can to make sure that everyone's understanding each other and has a good understanding of the science and research that's going on. So for this specific for this specific paper, what we did was we had two articles and in one of them we said according to science uh, and then talked about the positive effects of waking up early in the morning and then in the other article the content was exactly the same but instead of saying according to science we said according to a recent study and we had participants read either one article or the other and we asked them to respond to the article and say you know how trustworthy or scientific they found it as well as other questions about themselves like their religious and political beliefs and education and that sort of thing and what we found was that uh, our original questions of kind of whether people would think that one article versus the other was different in some way. There wasn't really a significant difference between that. However, we did find that people that considered themselves to be a morning person was correlated with how scientific they found the article as well as how much they trusted the information in the article. So it shows a little bit of a confirmation bias there. So even though we didn't necessarily get the results we maybe wanted or thought we would have expected, um, this only opened up more questions about maybe whether the phrasing, um, if it was a little bit different, what effects that might have had, or if the content was a little different, if that might have had a different effect, as well as people's personal beliefs or um, attributes that they have, if that maybe would affect how they would view the articles. So... Um, Thanks for listening. <laughs>